Traders say Nigeria's bond markets opened the week with a series of bilateral demand for various maturities. Right across the curve, the securities with the most requests was the 2023 and all of the mid turnered bonds that get more interest. Ladibelo, a fixed income dealer at Access Bank, now joins me on the line for a focus on Nigeria's fixed income and forex market. Ladi, glad to have you join us on Parliament West Africa. Could you talk us through what's spurring uh, players' interest in the 2023 instruments and other mid turner instruments? Uh, thank you for having me. Uh, essentially, like you said, we've had um, a lot more demand than we've seen last week in the bond and the treasury bill space. Uh, we've seen interest across the OMO maturities, um, especially like skewed towards the longest tenor bills. Uh, and this also filtered into the bond market where we have activity uh, skewed towards the short to mid tenor bonds. So we've seen a rally from the 2023 um, all the way down to the 2029. Uh, bonds week on week trend downwards by an average of 40 basis points. Um, this isn't um, this isn't new. Uh, this is fairly expected given the heightened level of liquidity in the system. So counterparties are just coming into the market, local counterparties to be specific, uh, coming into the market to utilize some of these idle funds. Now, Ladi, talking system liquidity, your report tells us that the CBN did not hold its weekly FX auction at the previous session. Could you talk us through how this impacted uh, activities at the market and where exactly are investors taking their monies to now? Okay, like you rightly said, there's limited investment outlets. There's a shortage of, shortage of USD and relatively high demand. We've seen... Um, quite a big backlog of settlement from the CBN. Uh, INE turnover on average is um, about $46 million for this week. Last week average was a lot higher at about $225 million. Like you said as well, the CBN has not intervened in the wholesale market for the past two weeks. Um, the intervention is at the sole discretion of the CBN. Uh, so when they feel the need to do so, they would definitely come into the market. So, Ladi, which is seeing more interest at the moment, the bonds or the Treasury bills space? Uh, well, these are both debt instruments, depending on the maturity profile of who is investing. So we've seen uh, both instruments rally. We've seen more interest skewed towards the long tenured home bills within the Treasury bills space. Uh, most of the activity or most of the interest lies within the January to March bucket. Uh, simply because you can obtain the highest yields there and it's, it's the uh, longest tenured maturity in the market where counterparties uh, um, some of their obligations. Uh, with regards to bonds, we've seen less activity on the 2050 and the 2049s, although um, this has also rallied, coming from uh, the 49s about 13% bid levels uh, just a couple of days ago. Now we're around the 12.7% mark. So definitely some interest there as well. Uh, and this, again, is skewed towards um, the medium tenor bonds. Um, this is highly as a result of the uh, buoyant liquidity levels in the system, as well as the lack of supply on both the OMO and bond papers uh, in the markets. We also have um, some coupons coming in uh, on select maturity, so 2023, um, the 2029 bonds as well. So we expect the system to be um, awash with liquidity for a while. How long this buying trend will be sustained, we don't know, uh, as the structural issues within Nigeria are still there. Um, so as we continue to look for alternative, uh, alternative sources of debt within the country, uh, we'll see how this plays out. But for now, uh, we have an OMO maturity as well tomorrow, about 131 billion um, naira. Uh, for the month of April, it's about 625 billion. And for the second quarter of the year, it's about 1.1 um, trillion. So... Uh, there will be a bit of liquidity in the system. Um, whether or not the CBN will come up and mop up this liquidity, uh, again, is at their discretion. But again, um, some market participants see this as a bit of an overreaction, as uh, there's no market fundamentals supporting this bullish uh, sentiment in the market at this point. Fingers crossed on that one. Ladi, many thanks to you for your time. Ladi Bello is a fixed income dealer at Access Bank.